Hello, welcome to the class. So in this class, we are going to be looking at how to enable Google Maps in Google Developer Console. But before we do that, I want to show us what we want to achieve. This is what we want to achieve. As you can see, our map is live in the background. So this is what we're going to be having at the end of the day. But for now, let's look at how to enable Google Maps in Google Developer Console. So to enable Google Maps API, the first thing you need to do is to go to Google Developer Console control developers.google.com okay so i'm in my developer account okay so i want to go to libraries go to libraries we'll look for map sdk for android as you can see here and uh, there are actually a lot of other apis that we can use you know there plenty of them all right so let's go for map sdk okay so before we go ahead we need to select a project all right so let's select a project so so the project you're seeing here okay so let me quickly explain this the project you're seeing here is the one we created in firebase okay but eventually let's say we didn't go the firebase route all right you probably might need to create a new project here but I just wanted to quickly explain so that we know why we are seeing Uber clone here. This project is actually the one we created on Firebase, you know, when we were doing login and authentication. So that's why we are seeing here because it's the same email address. All right. So that's why we are seeing this. So guys, let's proceed. Okay. So now that we've selected a project, let's click on map SDK. So let's hit enable to get everything up and running okay so we've actually enabled our Google map SDK for Android so let's create an API key that we'll be using from within an app because to be able to make use of the map SDK for Android you need an API key within your app so let's create a credential let's go to credentials in API manager we want to create a credential but because before you can actually make use of um, your map SDK in Android or in iOS you actually need an API key so we're just gonna create that okay so let's create an API key and here we have our key all right so um, I can actually restrict the key if I want to but for the fact that we are still in development mode I can still leave it you know unrestricted okay but if i want to restrict it i might actually need you know to use our signing keys to restrict this okay but because we're not doing that i'll just name this map api key okay so i won't add any restriction for now all right so i'll just click save okay so you can see our map is our map api key is ready and the reason why this is showing is because it's unrestricted okay so that's that so let's go ahead and copy our api key and we get to need to add it to our string.sml right so let's go to our string.sml and add our map key to our string values all right so open resources strings okay so i'm going to create a new string value string name the name i'm going to call it map key and i'll paste this all right so guys this is just how to enable you know google maps in our google developer console so in the next class we're going to be looking at how to you know add the google map packages and initialize google maps so guys, see you in the next class.